the tip. Um, this is your plasma tip. Inside there is a little swirl nozzle and all sorts of fancy things. Um, if you get this too close to the metal that you're cutting, then um, that little tip is going to block and you need to bring the machine back so that we can replace that tip. Um, 600 bucks for this whole little setup over here. So be careful when you're using it. Um, never cut upside down because then whatever you're cutting tends to fall on there. If you really do need to cut upside down, you have to do it at an angle as you're cutting so that whatever heat you've got, whatever metal falls, it falls not onto that tip. So that's the first thing. Okay, next one. Okay, so your the, uh, unit's got a built-in compressor. So as soon as you press this, it starts blowing air. That air is what um, forces the, the plasma out of the, out of the nozzle. Um, as you get close, you've got your earth clamp that's got to be on. As you get on. get right up against never get right up against that steep coast you want to be slightly away okay you ready uh -huh. okay so to turn the unit on put it on on make sure that it's on run and then this is your amperage um, for plates up to three millimeters, you can actually cut below 25. Up to five millimeters, you can go to 25. The unit can go all the way to 40 amps, which means that you can cut eight millimeter steel. But for that to work, your circuit breaker needs to be a 40 amp single phase circuit breaker. Now, most houses don't have that. So what tends to happen is if you turn this up too much, the unit will switch on and it will work and you, you can cut for the first five or ten seconds and then your circuit breaker is going to trip. So unfortunately this unit draws a lot of power and you do need to make sure that this um, amperage adjustment over here um, is within range of your circuit breaker that you're using. 